coming. We're on. Hey. <laughs> How you Welcome doing? Welcome to week six in review. Hold on. There we go. Sorry. Okay, now we can see okay, all of you. Perfect. Better. Week six in review. How's it going, Matt? It's going great, man. A little bit of chill in the air. Everything's feeling good. We had rain last night, so uh, it's oh getting to be goodness. it's getting to be fall weather, and we're excited for it because that always means good football. What's the first game we're starting off with, Kev? Okay, it was the Battle of the Kevins, <laughs> when only one Kevin came to battle. Uh, Rockland Smashers take me down 137 to 105. Two Kevins enter, one leaves, and it wasn't That's you, right. Master Blaster. It looks like uh, old man Clemens got it done after his stumble last week. He recovered nicely. No thanks to Eli Manning, who, boy, Eli either looks great or he looks really awful. This week was awful with only six. Delaney Walker only had him eight, and Larry Donald, the no-name guy out of the Giants, got him one. On the other hand, here's what he here's how he beat you. Giovanni Bernard in that uh, game with no defense, Carolina and Cincinnati. Uh, 20, Giovanni had 29, Jordy Nelson had 27, Mike Wallace had 17, and the 49ers defense got him 15. You, on the other hand, had a, a, a less than stellar day with Matt Ryan. 14 good, but not what you want out of him. Yeah. Le'Veon Bell with only 14, Julian Edelman for 19, but you got hurt by C.J. Spiller with only one, Charles Clay with only six. So, yeah, you just you had, you had, you had a nice spread of numbers, yeah. but not enough to get the job done. Oh, uh, it was a poor outing by me. Yeah, right. yeah. So, the next game, which was maybe game of the week, I think you know where to head next, Matthew. Oh, God. We had the Braille Bombers show up big time and roll up nearly 180 against her son, the worst team ever, who fell short scoring 121. Sorry, buddy. Boo. Yes, she picks this week to score 179. Nice job, Mom. Andrew Luck, of course, started the week off right with 31. She gets 30 yeah. from Demarius Thomas in what was a weird game. Did you watch any of that Denver uh, New, uh, New York Jets game? Because that was supposed to be a blow away. I mean, the Jets, the worst ever, and here comes Denver, oh, right? I see some of it. Yeah, it was tight. Right, it was tight for a while. In the end, they finally pulled away, but it was tight for a while, right? She also got help yeah. from Anquan Bolden Monday night just to rub salt in my wounds with 22. And, of course, the Eagles defense, which I I really wanted that she stole for 26. On my ledger, I had uh, Aaron Rodgers for 31, which was nice. Antonio Brown for 20 in that losing effort. Randall Cobb for 16. Fortunately, unfortunately, Frank Gore for only three. And Kendall Wright, who for three weeks did great. Then when I put him in the lineup, he craps the bed with only one. Thank you, Kendall Wright. Next right, game. Uh, I'm not saying that that last game didn't go the way I thought, but this one. Shut up. It started out rough for the Malibu Stacy. <laughs> she ended up pulling it out against the punishment due 117 to 96. But I'm telling you, three quarters away through the morning games, she and Todd were putting up some rough numbers. Yeah. And I thought, I, I don't think there's a way. And then all of a sudden, she snuck one out. She's happy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that was a, an interesting game to watch, like you said, to see the low score and then finally come oh. around. So she had a big day with uh, Jake Cutler for 26, Matt Forte for 37. Oh, my I world. I told you I'm loving that tandem. Yeah, that's a very nice tandem. Greg Olson for 18, very nice. The Bucks got her minus five, which is funny. So didn't hurt her in the end because, like you said, she pulled out the win. D uh, terrible Todd with um, with Big Red for 24 and Alshon Jeffrey for 20. But the rest of his weren't all that Impressive. DeAndre Hopkins for only two. Marshawn Lynch only had seven in there. Lost to Dallas. God, what happened to Seattle? Uh, and the yeah. Bengals for two. So, yeah, he had a rough day. On the bench, he had some people just laughing at him, like Muhammad Sainu for 30 and Kirk Cousins for 24. Not that the 24 would have done anything for Dalton. Jordan Reed had 17, which is interesting because I'm sure Todd follows this pretty fat, pretty quickly, and he must have thought that Owen Daniels was a better shot. But where Daniels got only got him five on the bench, he would have got 17. So. You know, different story, but uh, we'll see what he does this week to recover. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I thought this, but at the beginning of the game, they were talking about Sainu, and I thought, yeah, yeah I heard his name a lot last week. And with we AJ, and well, yeah, and with AJ Green out with turf toe. Yeah, I mean, they knew he yeah. wasn't going to play. I looked, and he was on his bench. I was like, I told Don, I said he should have started this guy. I'm telling you, uh, he. He impresses me, and continually, uh, who impresses me is that Jordy Nelson. Yeah. Man, it's, it's just all he does is rack up points. Okay, yeah. I won't go on anymore. All right. Uh, next up, Coach, I'm going to call it Coach of the Month for October. The Mouseketeers are Arl 
taking down the Ralph Wiggum Experience 149 to 86. Jay, an erupt day on uh, last Sunday, poor Jay. Absolutely, yeah. Peyton Manning, it's it's easy to coach when you got Peyton Manning, but the real star for her this week was T.Y., or as Paul used to call him, thank you, Hilton, with Two weeks in a row. 42. A 40-burger. That helps her a lot. She got no help from Matt Astacia or Brian Hartline, but it didn't matter because she had more than enough to beat the woefully bad Ralph Wiggum. I mean, he was as bad as Ralph is in real life. It's like he picked a booger and ate it. I mean, Shane Vereen for only one, Jeremy Macklin for three, Wes Welker for one. I told you he's Sova! And uh, the Chargers for only two. So, yeah, he had a tough one. Romo came through with 20, but, again, not enough to overcome... The coach of the season so far, the Mouseketeers. Me lose at football? That's impossible. <laughs> exactly. <Okay. laughs> Who's next, right, Chief? Next one, we've got the uh, pink ladies who were found this week by a rescue team of dogs <laughs> led by uh, uh, Matthew. Uh, uh, but she lost. It wasn't enough uh, without uh, man, Arian Foster might have done it. I think she would have done one by one point if she had him in. 128. To 99, but yeah. uh, Kat gets the win. Yeah, Kat, Kat is very, very lucky right now that, uh, that Melinda is distracted by her new job. So congrats, Melinda, on the new job. But you need to get your lineup set, sweetheart, like we talked about. So I'm sure she's going to do better this week. So I'm sorry for whoever plays her that now she's going to have her head in the game. But uh, be, be that as it may, she had a rough day with leaving all of her talent on the bench. Uh, Chris Ivory only got two. Heath Miller only got three. And Aaron Dobson got only one from New England. She had a nice day with Cecil Shorts for 20, but again, not not enough for Cat and her wild poopers. She had three big guns with Deshaun Jackson for 24, Steve Smith uh, for, and it, this is again from her trade, 26, and Julius Thomas for 21. Um, she had some bad plays from Doug Martin for 5, Steven Jackson for 2, Sammy Watkins for 4, but hey, she gets